It's his third game. And the first pitch is a strike to Nick Allen. So that's kind of how you find yourself down in the bullpen. And really pitching. Two pitch, and that will do it for Nick's. Pache takes way high. Big bouncer, and it's just foul. He's going to have his first off day in the Bay Area tomorrow. Lines one toward Calhoun, and Calhoun makes Top of the order, and Tony Kemp shows bunt, and yeah, the pitch is outside. Strike called at the knees outside corner one and one. Kemp has singled. He has hit a fly ball to center field. He has hit a fly ball in the left field. This may be interesting, Dallas. Maybe. Well, that may be. I mean, he's going to go back out there. He's doing 22 pitches in two innings. You got an off. One pitch is a strike. Kemp takes low and it's a two out walk. Taken off. Strike called. It looked like it was outside. If he has to. And just wait to get one that he can handle if it meant just flicking it out there. Kemp goes on 2 2 the throw. Got it. Cole Irvin was the starter, five shutout innings. So Cole Irvin looking for his second win. The ace. Toward right, Garcia and fair territory, he makes the catch and score. The Royals and the Mariners are tied 3-3 in the top of the ninth inning. Actually, the Royals just tied it. Playing well right now. They've won five out of six overall. You know who's... Today, he's homered. Miller's got it. Miller's throw in time, and that's out number two. Line drive, and it's fair. Bethancourt hooks one down the line, and he's going to have a two-out double. Oops, fouls it right at the plate. You know, situations like this, Dallas, this is will do that, but it's a little bit of a risk if you only have two catchers. But if you have the, the third guy. 8, 39, or 40. On that 40 man roster. And you don't want to know who that's going to be. But that's where, like, I. 2-2 I... Two -two pitch. And yeah, that's a swing and a miss. So. Well... Against Heredia. Only one out in the inning, and he gets Heredia to swing and miss. Strike one. Two of them, he didn't allow any runs, and one of them, he allowed five. Owen just to face Loredia. 0 2, and that's off the plate. Atlanta and Allard can get us back on his safe territory here. The 1 2, there's a swing and a miss. And he gets Loredia for the second out of the inning, and that, that's helpful. Get any closer, and they win it, but that is something that's important. It could show up in a lot closer. Oh, Allard, what a great play. Looky here. Allard, what a, an unbelievable job he just did moments ago to get out of a base kick back to the mound. And Allard made a real nice play on it, the one strike pitch. 
And this one lifted high in the air out to short right field. Miller comes in. And that's out number one. Action here with the guys that are coaching on the bases for the Braves. I guess I never realized that without even put much thought into it, Ronald. I can tell you he's still interested in doing it again. He brings it up. A couple of good years right there. Yes, they were. Wash. 664 wins to 611 losses in the regular during those seasons. And that still continues today. So that really contributed to that applause that he got, the Ranger fans. Yeah. With that uh, built in waistband, no belt. No. Old school is a swing and a miss by Demerit. B1. Who said that? that ring's Darren O'Day. Oh, wow. Who is still the and uh, I think that's largely because he's just himself. Yeah, no, you I mean, know, there's no he, pretense. Zero. His tells are such greatness. Well, like Emily was really rubbing it in there. Not even a close second. <laughs> not even just no. a coach, not a manager, that people know who you are. Right? Again, so highly respected, even as a coach. Well, ground ball to the right side. Kind of a weird schedule to start the year. A lot of off days here coming up in the next week or so. And then Austin Riley takes upstairs ball one. Allard out again. He's thrown an inning and two thirds scoreless so far. That ball's hammered out to left field. Over that of Solak and up against the wall. He'll quickly turn it back to the infield. And Riley hustles into second with a leadoff double. Playing it off the wall and getting it in quickly. Let's see what happens here. Kenley Jansen warming up. And Kenley at this point in his career, guy you probably don't want in there if you yeah. don't need him in there. There was a game, I believe it was yesterday, the Braves won by four. One ball, one strike on Osuna. Oh, this one has popped up. Right side foul ground. Low stand with it, and he makes the catch. One away. And he's going through arbitration. The Yankees executive and said, well, he doesn't have a lot of saves. Well, who cares? Pop up. First base. And low is it. It's one thing if you're blowing a lot of saves. Yeah. <laughs> you're really just blowing leads, right? I think it's where teams would like to be for sure. I, think, I mean, I do think there's a chance of all the things that we talk about with. Save does. Yeah, it, it might. And this one popped up back of second base. Simeon looks his way out there and makes the catch. All right, so Matt Bush was terrific in the first inning, and so extends him in today's game. He's low, one and one. Keenth overall pick that year. And he's low again, two and one. 24 years old. You're talking about a guy who's got significant big league time, and there's a ground ball near second base. Simeon throws out O'Hearn, one and one. Five or six innings? So yeah, minimum, right? Well, it's interesting how the the match O'Hearn and then obviously Dozier right now, but Isbell coming up next. You got two lefties, so it kind of be in there for an inning or two. This one fouled away by Dozier. What recently and who's likely to be available and involved? This one over to the right side, out of play. Or even if you look, say, take the Rangers lineup, you got Charlie Culberson hitting ninth. And Two strike pitch. And did Dozier hold up? Apparently he did. No appeal even asked for. One and two the count. He's hit a double, reached on an error, he walked. And he takes low here, two and two. So a couple of teammates followed him. Two two. Runs in tight. So Allard, he got over energy here on Dozier. 3 2. And this one down the right side, slicing away foul. Ooh, somebody, yeah, that's right. Somebody take control down there. Ninth pitch of this at bat. And that misses. Ball four. Dozier is on again. So he's been on every time he's come to the plate in this issue with the roof closed. Staring right into it over there at first. Those six o'clock games, the sun is beating down on the first base side. 
side here. One one. A swing and a miss. Five in the bottom of the first. One two pitch and a swing and a miss. Isbell strikes out and there are two away. All right, so a two away. For Michael Taylor, check swing, little bouncer down to first, and boy, you talk about an easy play. Taylor never left the batter's box. So that was going on. He commented to me that when they were in New York, uh, he left his bat at the hotel, meaning he couldn't hit. Hopefully that turns around. That ball smashed to left field by Merrifield, and Kansas City gets on the board a solo home run. By a guy who has really been struggling for Kansas City and Merrifield starts the scoring tonight. It's one to nothing. And you know, on the Kansas City side, they're just hoping that that's now that's the real deal. Maybe this is when he gets going. Saw that note there. They in some 53 innings until that one right there, and now a ground ball. Second base by Nicky Lopez. Level going back to the Merrifield home run. You know, if a pitcher falls into, you know, patterns, you know, the post Royals are really struggling to get on the fastball this year. Lowest numbers all over. It's one one to Bobby Witt Jr. Foul back. That's a good pitch to hit. And if it's a fastball and you miss it, you're going to have a hard time. This one off the handle out into left field and Solak able to cover some ground to get to it. And type of thing. And I got to work with Sadaharu O, oh, who, for those of you who don't know, he's basically, and you miss it, that's your fault. Oh, and two on. This is the fewest amount of fastballs thrown in history. The done? Well, I guess, you know. I'm trying to think of the pitcher I saw the other day. You know, somebody it was it was fastball slashes uh, of what the pitcher is going to throw, and if you can break it down by count, that would be helpful also. Well, pretty good right there from Allard. Just missed with that cut fastball, and it's a full count on Benintendi. Struck out swinging in the first inning. Payoff pitch, and he spoils that one. Very efficient in the first inning. Payoff pitch again, and Benintendi. Shoots it down that left side. That could be pretty. He's got at least seven pitches. The three-two pitch, another foul ball, and we all know why that one. actually hit well. And how many pitches in that strike zone do you see throughout the course of an at bat? Well, this one out to center field, but see, I told you. Yeah, hangs up perfect. Red Sox in town, going to be a great series. Steal a base with one of those on. Sure could. Speaking of big guys, Salvador Perez, tremendous. Power hitter, and he found just shy of 44% of those who tried to run on him. One and two. All star. Bunch of silver sluggers. That one's wide, and Allard. And he was catching. Like, <laughs> really? How did he go? No. So. It happened. <laughs> Payoff pitch. And. Excuse me, he will chase. Oh, payoff pitch, that one's in the zone and it goes off the handle down the first baseline. That is a fair ball. Drops and then slowly rolls toward the corner. And the throw goes to second base, but nowhere near in time. Lead off double. I'll be run. I don't see a head first slide too often from him either. So now, oh. For Paris, his seventh double of the year. That's a good pitch. It's low. Oh, Hearn. 2 1. And this one lined out to right field, and Adolis is right there. One away. In the second inning. And he hits this ball hard out to the gap in left center but that got closed by Eli White Kyle Isbell and he'll swing at the first pitch bounce it down to first base and an easy out for Nathaniel Lowe. 24 years old and he's set to work against Jose Abreu and a first pitch strike
It's low. Two run game, 12th inning. Inside. Cutter. For a and he got him looking. Yeah, that one had the whole plate. It's number 380 today to Jake Berger. High for a ball. He does have an RBI single today. And he hits it high in the air to left. Culberson back on the warning track. And he'll make the grab. Robert Torque third will just get in. He's out. No, no, no. 